Hey guys, so in the previous video, what we did was uh, we mentioned the, the uh, how we calculate the, the width and the length on the plan. Okay, so on the module that you'll be doing, well, how do you calculate this? We, use, we say to use uh, simple ratios. Okay, so this is the width, 50, 30 centimeters. The length is um, uh, 50 centimeters. And just a quick note, the length should be the longer side. If you have um, a, 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 a rectangular shape, the length should be the longer side okay so the length would be actually the the 50 centimeters um, here okay so here is how you demonstrate so you're supposed to measure 30 centimeters going there and also 50 centimeters going down so this is the length and then this is the width notice that this is 1.25 centimeters here but then you want you you want this part 1.25 to fit all over this 30 centimeters here so you'd actually have um, uh, 30 centimeters divided by 1.25 centimeters to calculate the, the number of tiles that uh, you you'd need for for uh, going across uh, in the width part as shown okay so uh, I have my calculator here 30 divided by 1.25 so you'd uh, get 24 and notice that uh, we have six blocks here so one two three four five six blocks and uh, so each block is uh, four tiles going across, okay? So four tiles are there at the top. So that's why at the end, you actually get 24 O in O. And then for, for this part here, that we say that this one would be measuring five centimeters. If you're using the correct scale again, this one would be longer. And um, you'd get five centimeters uh, up to 50. So you'd actually need 10 of these. So going down, it's just two per, per block going down. So you'd actually get uh, 10. Uh, you'd actually get five blocks here which would be 10 tiles going down okay so that's how it would work out so for example we'd say uh, 50 centimeters and uh divide by this and then you get 10 okay so that's why we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so i'm, I'm not sure but uh you could uh use a plain paper for for this part so I use a plain paper, I use a, 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 meter, a, a ruler, a 30 centimeter ruler, and you'd be able to achieve uh, this. Okay, this side would be longer, obviously, as I mentioned. Okay, so make sure you uh, label that this is your tile block. If you're using blocks, if you don't want to use blocks, then you just, uh, you know, indicate that this is a tile and that's that's how it is. So here the area factor, area factor is, is one centimeter is two, 0 0.01 square meters. So how do we uh, get the area factor? That's another another area factor. Area factor. That's that's another issue. So it's called to scale factor. So some of those things you should know. So scale factor squared. So our scale factor was what was one centimeter to represent zero point one meter like this. Okay. So if you square this, I can think of it as one centimeter over 0 0.1 meter like this so if you square it uh, it actually means one square centimeter here over 0 0.1 squared this one should be squared okay so divided by meter squared so you'd actually get one centimeter over 0 0.01 here so sorry so you'd actually get this and it would read as one square centimeter is two 0 0.01 square meters like this okay so this is how you arrive at this okay so if you want to demonstrate how you find the air factor then you include this one the total area of the module it's equal to 50 centimeters by this so you'd get uh, 1500 uh, square centimeters here so one square centimeter is to this uh this one is two it's two more obviously if it's more pick a number at the top and then you multiply then you get 50 uh square meters which is exactly what you'd get um, from three cent three meters, sorry, three meters by by five meters here. So you'd actually get fifteen square meters. Okay, so this is why this is um, correct, and uh, you've demonstrated 
using the the uh, scale on the paper you have demonstrated how you can actually get the actual area so this is good and you can also do for the other room okay so the, 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 the other one was another room I think it was the bedroom this one would be the uh, sitting room so the sitting room would be bigger and uh, you'd be having again the same thing that we did so uh, here it um, uh, even shows you how you get the, the air factor here it's still the same air factor that we uh, used previously uh, it's better for you to stick to one uh, scale uh, factor okay so it'd be good like that okay so we use simple proportion again to to get our uh, 80 centimeters here and also 50 centimeters here so this is good after you're done with this part then you can actually uh, go ahead and then uh, show how you do it uh, on, a, on, a, on a piece of paper so this one now it uh, requires you to get uh, 80 centimeters I'm not sure uh, maybe it might fit on a, on a on an A4 so you, you have to check that if it doesn't fit then you can use um, uh, a more generous scale here it should still be it should still be fine okay so you'd use uh, a more generous scale here and then you'd, you'd uh, for the scale that we used this one was um, 80 centimeters and uh, this one was 50 50 centimeters okay so we also demonstrated let me actually see if I can move this up a little bit so so let me see if I can move this up a little bit okay so yeah so this is good and now you can see here the calculation so the calculation is similar to what we did previously you're just using your area factor here your area scale and uh, you you're getting the total area in square centimeters you're demonstrating how you'd get the actual area of the flow using a simple proportion then you get this okay so this is good and uh, the final part would be to uh, show the the summary of uh, your results okay what is it exactly that you're doing and how, how you uh, what the results that you got okay so the sum of the results the flow measurements are this so 3 by by 5 uh, 5 by by 8 this summary can help someone you know as a guide if someone is um, you know uh, just want to or just wants to see how quickly what you did then they can uh, consult this summary here then the official schematics you're showing them that you also verified to verify from the house plan then you get these ones so this is uh, this is really great and uh, also the area measurements then you got this one and this one which you demonstrated earlier on how you actually get this ones so the channel dimensions and specifications so this one was 0 0.5 by by this okay so this one was um for the for the for the block okay so you'd be having uh eight tiles per, per block so the tail dimensions you can you can actually show them as uh so the, we had said uh, that the, this one was was like this this one was for the tile block then you also have to show for each tile so we had said that there were eight so you can uh say for for cross weight was 0 0.125 you can just divide that by if it was four then you divide that by four then you get whatever you get and then if um, this one was uh, uh, 0 0.5 then you'd have to divide this by two then you'd get since it was two going down then you get 0 0.25 here so you should show the tile dimensions here i didn't i didn't mention so that's that that was another important thing so uh yeah so the area of uh, block was was this and then the cost per block you can say or well, what whatever that that was so uh it would be it would be uh this much okay so the number of tiles required we'd say 30 and then the other one was 80 you can go and consult uh that uh, page that slide that we did uh, it was 30 and 80. this spot here you have to be careful and uh check the dimensions for it or might need to do some adjustments here because it wasn't coming out uh, uh, this way so it might have been uh, a typo on our part okay but essentially you're supposed to uh, demonstrate the, the specifications and the number of tiles now you can say number of blocks uh, multiplied by number of tiles per block then you get this one if you count again in our demonstrations they actually work out uh, very well and then you can even include the budgeting uh this part obviously uh it's not required but then if you want you can include it just to show that uh, you know you're really serious uh, with uh, this project okay so that's just about it and uh let's see 
so this one I we actually did it just to illustrate uh, the the actual uh, flow plan okay so the actual flow plan uh, looks like like this okay so the dimensions actually match up because you're having three meters uh, going this direction and then you're also having five meters going this direction again depending on your on your scale this one should be longer so you should be faithful to the scale we're just doing this for illustration purposes and uh, this part as well so we also included uh, the schematics for for the for the bigger for the sitting room okay so it works out uh, like this and you can also demonstrate how you how you get that okay so that's just about it uh, and yeah that's how you do a color and the surprise that I was telling you guys was that we actually have um, like a specimen for this which is written in PDF form we advise you not to copy everything that's there you just uh, learn just take it download it and then learn in your, uh, at your own pace and then see uh, you know get some motivation and also get some tips from there and also internalize it for any other color that you may have to do uh, in the future okay so this was really productive and um, we really liked uh, this short um, video if you want to see more color videos more videos on uh, continuous assessment or learning activity then I advise you to uh, comment in the in the uh, comment section and then we'll be able to pick up on that and uh, you know answer your 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 requests and if you have any other questions as well I'll put my my number in the uh, description and you can just uh, send them over and then once in a while especially on weekends uh, we actually make videos where we answer some of your questions okay so this was actually a request by someone who wanted to uh, us to demonstrate how we do color assessment okay so this was uh, productive thanks so much for watching make sure you like share and subscribe Yuba out